Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode. On today's episode, I've got my buddy Ian coming fishing with me today, and we're going to try to replicate the fishing we had the other day with my wife, Susha, and try to get some snapper and hopefully a keeper grouper today. It's uh, a couple days before the season ends, so hopefully we can put one in the box to bring home for some dinner. If not, we'll do some cooking of the uh, snapper and Key West grunts that we got the other day and uh, show you one of my favorite ways to cook them. All right, boys. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace. White boy juice, white boy juice. Nice. Yep, I gotta do it too because I forgot a buff. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. If that's a if that's a grouper, that's a good one. Come over here. Come over on this side. Come over on this side and pull away from the piling. You might have a real one on. Yeah, get get low on the water or we'll we'll move over there probably. Woo, that was a real bite right there, buddy. Yeah, we'll move back a little bit. You'll have to get low. Yeah, that was a real one right there. Dang. You had the weight. That was the weight. All right. Basically like this. <clears throat> Not having it, is it? No. no. You don't want none of that. If you think he's out, reel down until reel really fast until it's tight and then pull away. That's what usually works best. Hey, okay. Time there we go. <laughs> there you go. Walk him back, walk him back. That's a big one. That is a definite big one. <laughs> yes, E Dog on the big grouper. <laughs> oh, no. Line broke. Oh, wow, it just popped off. Wow. Holy Damn. cow. Dude, that was that was a monster. That was nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world? Am I pulling up right now? Yeah, that's sweet. It's real good job, Murph. <laughs> yeah. I mean I'm all for cleaning up the water. Waterways. Trash. All for it. Well, I just got eaten. Tried to set the hook and the pinfish just came right off. What in the world? Okay, you cast over there. I'm fascinated with what just happened twice in a row. All right, third cast, same spot. Try not to get absolutely destroyed. There we go, I just got eaten. I don't understand. Is it the weight? I'm taking the weight off. Didn't happen one time yesterday, the other day with Seuss. Blowing my mind though. What 
little bit better. Maybe a 20 incher, 21 incher. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's promising. Bite's been kind of dead for a little while. Finally, uh, back on a grouper. All right, see ya. Yeah, man. Wish it uh, was a better day than that, but that's life on the on the sea. Right, buddy, thank you. Peace. Yeah, man. See you. Have fun at work. <laughs> Will do. Will do. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna prepare some fish that Sush and I caught a few days ago. First, I like to slice up some onions and bell peppers. I like red onions for Spanish style meals. Saute them on medium heat and some olive oil until they're nice and soft. Cook some yellow rice and add a can of black beans. Then sprinkle a little bit of cumin on top for some extra Spanish flavor. Now for the fish. Cut the fillets into nice bite-sized pieces. To keep things quick and simple, Spread some olive oil onto the fillets instead of making an egg wash. Bread and fry those juicy little fillets up. Put these beautiful little nuggets on top of your black beans and rice mixed in with your veggies. To top everything off, I like to add a little bit of shredded cheese, some salsa, some sour cream. If I don't have any jalapenos, I like to add a little bit of hot sauce on top to give it some spiciness. I like my spicy stuff. There you have a quick and easy meal that takes only about 15 to 20 minutes to make and it is so tasty. Okay ladies and gents, that's gonna wrap up tonight's video. I hope you all enjoyed this catch and cook as much as I did. I love cooking and I love eating. and I'm really fortunate to be able to live where I live to eat some of these amazing creatures that we get to also catch that are really fun. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. Leave a comment down below on of video ideas, maybe catch and cooks that you'd like to see. Uh, I appreciate the heck out of all of you. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.